All right, welcome back to the channel. So, Cyborg Pirate, cyborgpirate.com, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Check us out on cyborgpirate.com where we have a number of new diving accessories that we will be getting out here the mid November, just in time for Christmas. So, this is the dive camera rig that we have set up to do comparisons between the Hero 8, the Hero 10, which is what we're filming with right now. And also, we're going to be using the Budget Cam SJ Cam C200. So this is in its roll cage right here. This is where we have the waterproof cage for it, or the waterproof housing. And it's connected right now to our DPV action camera and light mount, which we will be selling here mid-November that attaches to the subgravity DPV scooters. All right, by the way, this is gonna probably be our camera of choice for underwater because of the fact that it does so well in dark atmospheres and dark lighting over the GoPros. But that's where this bad boy comes in. So this is going to be the Sola or light motion 3800 video light. I'm gonna do a quick install right here. We just did a quick unboxing of it, but we are gonna put it on the mount itself. Kind of give you an idea of how it's gonna fit on there. And we are gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison of the Orca Torch 910V, which is Again, we are an authorized dealer. We'll be selling those, and we should be doing a review or a side-by-side -side comparison here pretty quick of these two lights together, mounted on this exact same rig with various cameras. Again, the three that we just noted, the GoPro 8, Hero 8, Hero 10, and the SJ Cam C200. So this particular light here, we put it on, we've got our one inch balls that attach, which again, this will all be annotated in the description as to where you can purchase these. Very easy attachment, various fittings, various ways of doing this. I have found that this particular setup angled back with this light and the dome, I get a very nice shot with roughly about this angle here. And what this does is this dome allows for a nice projection without any or very little back feed or back scatter of the light itself as we are videoing. So I'm gonna open this other one here real quick. Give you a quick idea, I'll, I'll install it as well. Now, when we do the side-by-side -side comparisons, we're gonna change these ball mounts we'll have a triangular so we'll have all four lights on here at the same time we'll be able to switch them on and off and do various features with each light and each camera with a side-by-side -side comparison no changing the dive time or other than a few moments the dive time or anything else we'll be doing on the same dive so Let's get these all set up. And again, as I said, we'll put this in line. Turn back slightly. The nice part about these adjustments is you can make these adjustments any way that you find necessary with your camera. Nice little bolt snap that we've attached. So when we're done with our camera rigging, we can attach it to a D-ring and ascend with it without worry or fear of it being lost. Now, the way I've set this up as well is that we can do the Max 360 camera from GoPro and we can mount it in here, or we can mount an additional camera in here as well from behind and view from all three cameras. So this will be a nice little setup to do a side-by-side -side comparison of all the cameras themselves. 
Stay tuned. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Cyborg Pirate, cyborgpirate.com. Don't forget to check us out as we do have our DPV mounts, our stage bottle and deco bottle riggings, and our flagship, the Cyberlight, that will be launched all mid-November, just in time for Christmas. Take care of those dive buddies and family members that are divers that you love. Get those out. Best lights in the business. So thanks again for checking us out. Cyborg Pirate, cyborgpirate.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.